This video picks up where the official webinar linked in the description below left off and will demonstrate how to enter field data into the FBS online interface. There are three tabs in this Excel spreadsheet and you are not to modify this first one. In the second sheet, you will notice there are many hidden tabs. You go from B to D to H to M. You will use some of these other tabs and unhide them. Right-click Unhide in future exercises. For now, we're going to use Stand ID, Plot ID, Tree ID, Species, Diameter, Height, and Age only. And you do not want to modify any of these column headers. These data were all collected from within one stand called S1 from six plots, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tree species codes available in the manual linked in the description below. The diameter column is in inches and the height column is in feet and the software can handle these blanks where we did not measure every tree's height in the field. And again, we have six plots within one stand, which brings us to our last tab here where we have number of plots six. That is absolutely critical that you get that number matching. You will notice stand ID S1 matches our second sheet here for stand ID, and that must be so. We are using the Northeast and E variant of FES with an inventory completed in 2021 using the group's all stands and naming it a test inventory. We are in U.S. Forest Service Region 9, Forest Code 5, Location Code 922 for the White Mountains used throughout Maine. The data were collected using a basal area factor of 20, and those trees that are less than the break diameter of 2 inches will be treated in a fixed radius plot 1 300th of an acre. And again, emphasizing that the number of plots here must match the number of plots here. And finally, if we had calculated the site index for this site, we would enter it here. Save, close, and proceed to FES Online. Now we are in the Manage Projects tab, creating a new demo. So demo, make new project. With our demo selected, we are going to import input data and browse. I'm going to click on select and open our demo file. Install uploaded database. Under the simulate tab, we can go to the groups all stands, select S1, add selected stands. We can go through time and say we want to go through 2062. Skipping over components to select outputs, check the top five. And now run. Save and run. Here is our projected marginable cubic volume per acre, and let's view outputs. We can consider run one and ask for any of these outputs that we've seen in the demonstrated files. With these selected, proceed to explore. We can see our stand from 2021 to 2052, and we can select or deselect any of these variables of interest. And finally, visualize, select run, run one, select image, inventory conditions, and while that's loading, we can select run one again, and compare that to the ending conditions once that allows us to see it. There we go, end of projection, there's our beginning condition, and once that loads up, it will show us the ending condition. Here we have our visualization, beginning condition, end condition. Now let's try something different with a thing. Simulate and duplicate. Under Components, Management, Categories, Thinning and Pruning Operations, Components, Thin from Below. Give me a residual density of 400 trees per acre. Save and run, run, save and run. Here we have our removal early in the stance trajectory and the growth following. Let's visualize. In run one, our original natural condition, we have 2022 beginning of cycle. And in run one, parentheses one, that's our modified condition with the thinning, we have 2022 post cutting. And that shows the trees that were removed. Back under the Simulate tab, we can also access the FVS main output table. Scrolling all the way to the bottom of that, when it opens up, we will see these summary statistics. Scrolling all the way down, we can see our 2021 condition, 807 trees per acre, a removal of 406, meeting our target of 400, 
with some mortality bringing us to 388. We have a lot of useful information in this table. We have number of trees and top height which can be plotted on a density management diagram. We have merchantable and saw log cubic feet and an estimation of saw log board feet. So here we have saw log board feet, 16,000. Looking at the summary page of the stumpage report for 2019, the all-county average was $128 paid to the landowner for a thousand board feet of spruce fir, and at 16,000 board feet at the end of this period, that is $2,048. That's the 128 times 16 makes 2,048.